Louisville staple is coming back bigger and better than ever before. The gates of a renovated Kentucky Kingdom will reopen to visitors tomorrow morning. WLKY's Colin Mayfield is at the theme park with a preview of what you can expect at tomorrow's grand opening. Hi, Colin. Hey, Christina. I've got the best job at WLKY. The excitement is building here. I've heard it. I've felt it. Here at Kentucky Kingdom, they're just waiting for the families to get here. We're going to give you this awesome view. My photographer, Reed, is going to pan throughout some of the uh, water park here. As you can see, a new bucket is being placed in right now. Crews are working on that. A little farther from that, we've got uh, some more water rides. And then, of course, the wooden ride, one of the staples here, Thunder Run, of course. And then continuing sweeping over Hurricane Bay as we continue, we see the Ferris wheel here and also Lightning Run, which is a huge staple that they just put in, uh, also said to be one of the top 10 coasters here in the nation. And the team here at Kentucky Kingdom is ready to show off your family's place for summer fun. You know, it's been five years in the making, and uh, the entire team is so excited about finally presenting the park to the public. 100,000 people have bought their season passes in anticipation of the grand reopening here at Kentucky Kingdom. Many people will notice some of the old here at Kentucky Kingdom stayed, such as Thunder Run, but much of the park was redone with the guest in mind centered around excitement. Of course, there are 20 new amusement rides, bringing the total to 60, including Adventure River, the region's only river that flows six times the current of the Lazy River. There's also Deep Water Dive, which coined its name because of the perpendicular fall to the ground, giving the rider an exhilarating ride like none other. And that's the nation's tallest body slide. It's a little taller than Typhoon Lagoon, which used to be the nation's tallest body slide. Now, tomorrow, of course, the park opens at 9 a.m. You might want to get here earlier as huge crowds are expected to come in for the Memorial Day weekend. And you can still buy summer passes. You can get them at your local Kroger store or here at Kentucky Kingdom. Going to be a great summer. We hope to see you out here live from Kentucky Kingdom. I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Colin, thank you. And tune in to WLKY tomorrow morning where we will be live at Kentucky Kingdom as the final preparations are made before gates open. And right now at WLKY.com, you can find more information on the park, including rate information. It's in the top story section.